I'm Casey with 911 Motorsports and today I'm going to show you a demonstration of the jack adapter. Uh, right now we have the jack adapter on a standard floor jack and it's supporting the Dana 60 axle housing that is fully loaded weighing in right around 500 pounds. As you can see it's holding it just fine. Now I'm going to spin it around we'll show you the other side. Here is the pinion side. Here you can see the pinion adjuster which allows the axle to be held from three points and held very firmly. So the pinion adjuster is threaded so it allows easy rotation of the axle. The main supports are pinned for easy setup. This is the kit that you'll get. It'll come with either a floor jack base plate or a trans base plate. The floor base plate has four holes that you can use to secure the load to the floor jack. It also uses a center pin, just like your standard floor jacks use. So you can drop it right in the hole, spin it around, works real good. The transmission base plate, it has a number of bolt patterns that bolt onto the majority of transmission jacks out there. And if uh, your jack doesn't happen to match up with one of the bolt patterns, just drill a new one in the base plate, it'll work just great. Now I'm gonna show you how to assemble the jack adapter on a floor jack. Start with the main bar, pull it out, it's gonna lock. That's a nice safety feature. Push in these buttons and you can pull it apart real easy. Put the big bar in one side of the base plate, grab the pinion bar, put that guy in there like so. Then we're gonna reassemble the main bar like so. Now we'll grab a main support and a pin, assemble this guy like so around to the other side put this guy together to match like that then we're gonna grab the pinion support and put it in the hole just like that now you have the jack adapter all assembled to pick up a rear differential now I'm going to show you how to assemble the jack adapter for an offset differential this could be a front front or rear axle depending on what vehicle you're working on you're going to start with the main bar, pull it apart, and then you're going to grab the pinion bar. You're going to put these two together like so, and then you're going to slide this, the unit through the base plate. Then grab the other half of the main bar and assemble it. Then we'll grab the main support, put it together, flip it around, come to the other side, this main support together, grab the pinion support and put it together. Now you have the jack adapter assembled for an offset differential. Still fully adjustable in all directions, but the key is that the pinion is offset to the center of gravity of the jack. So here we have a Dana 60 uh, fully loaded axle housing weighing in right around 500 pounds on the jack adapter on a standard three ton floor jack. Uh, I'm going to show you how stable this guy is. So if I put some weight on it, this is, you know, say 20 pounds, it does rock. But what's rocking right here is the base plate to the floor jack. Uh, and because that center pin has a little bit of play, it allows some movement to it but there is a time when the center pin hits a limit and then you actually get to push the whole jack over itself so right now the jack is actually on two wheels so you can see that here it it has play definitely has play but because it's strapped with at least just a standard you know two point ratchet strap it's nice and solid so now we can flip this guy around here spin it around and let you see the pinion side you can see how the pinion is in line with the center of gravity, so therefore it's staying nice and level. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, subscribe to our channel and make sure to tune in next time where we're going to be putting this thing to use on a transmission jack and actually removing an axle from a vehicle. Check out our website for more information.